Hello Pisces, this is Delilah Rose and you've uh, come back to Delilah's Spiritual Spot for your weekly reading for October 19th through the 25th of 2020. Please take this opportunity to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification button for free readings uh, Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel. And let's get into this read using my animal spirit cards here. Uh, actually, let's give it a shuffle for some overall arching messages or vibes, like I like to call it. We have the canary spirit. Sing your own song, march to the beat of your own drum, Pisces, it's okay. Don't worry about others' expectations of yourself. Worry about what you expect from you. Be spirit, sweet results await. So if you sing your own song, if you march to the beat of your own drum, it's going to bring you success. Success. I like that. Uh, which cards am I going with? I'm actually gonna go over here. Let's pull these cards out. Using my ethereal tarot for this reading. Let's get into this. Thank you. Yeah, these cards are active. And let's just get into it. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, I like this. Let's move this over because three cards, uh, subconscious, um, conscious of what's happening now, advice and outcome from Spirit. You have justice with the Ace of Wands in your subconscious mind. So you are looking to make a change and get some balance in your life. The Empress card is here in the now, the present of what you're trying to accomplish and become. The Ten of Swords, unfortunately, is here. Um, this is actually one of my favorite cards and I'll explain why in a sec. Clarifying these two cards here is the High Priestess. Some major changes in your life regarding love, Pisces, regarding a change in the status quo. Temperance card. So major, major, major changes. We have the hangman at the bottom of the deck here. So we have one, two, three, four, Four major arcana cards which means that this week is very important for you um, in your life and in in what's happening with you in your future so let's get into this uh, reading here with this justice card right this is what you're thinking about Pisces now this is for all Pisces Sun Moon rising please take whatever I'm saying as it applies to your life leave the rest behind your gut has been telling you something for a while and it's been gnawing at your soul and your spirit and you're thinking about it. You're thinking about how to bring the the justice or the balance back in your life and how, um, how to accept what you're feeling and being told. What you're, what, and this is represented here by the high priestess, which is your instinct. Also by the Ace of Wands, so, so this is telling you, Spirit is telling you that this is going on, that something isn't right, something is out of whack and off balance. Spirit is leading you um, and they're driving it home forcefully, like you have a four alarm fire going on in your heart and in your in your solar plexus, in your um, sacral chakra, where you know where your instinct comes from. Here we have you, who you are. You are creative. You are nurturing. You try to be in your relationship, but it's a two-way street. That person has to want it and accept it. Um, and this is represented here by the broken heart. So many of you Pisces are contemplating leaving our relationship or the relationship is over. Um, the relationship, in my opinion, uh, with this general reading is that the relationship has ended and uh and it's left you with a broken heart it's left you with feeling like someone stabbed you in the chest because you were betrayed 
it could be with an affair or it could just be, you know, with someone taking advantage of you. This is represented here by this Ten of Swords, right? So you have been stabbed in the back. We know your significant other did it. And we have to work on bringing the balance back to your heart and mind. This is not a sad card for me because 10 is completion. It's over, right? So this is what's telling me this relationship is over. This is over. It's over and it's going to be a relief in time. The advice from spirit in reference to this, this outcome is to bring back the balance in your mind first because this person played with your mind, not only with your heart, you know, and when they, when someone plays with your mind, it's hard for anyone to, um, to get over that because you're asking yourself, why? Why break my heart and screw with my emotions? Why bring me into depression? Why make me feel unworthy? I'm just going to further clarify these cards. Right. See, I love this. Love this. Love it. I love it when spirit... Spirit tells us um, they're going to drive this point home. <laughs> With the Seven of Wands here, your defenses are up, right? You see that here, right? You are trying to protect yourself at all costs because you know this is going to hurt. You know this is going to be a fall. Um, here we have the well. It's going to tell, it, Spirit is telling you to draw from, you know, if you're spiritual, draw from your spiritual side or draw from your strength because you do have it. You do have a lot of instinct here that you ignored for this person, but now it's, try, it's telling you to draw on that instinct for you. Dig deep. Um, with this Knight of Swords, it's telling you just to move forward as quickly as possible, right? Don't dwell in the and the heartbreak of it, because this is what leads us to maybe getting back or entertaining getting back with this person. Spirit is telling you to just move on. This person is no good for you and you need to charge forward with listening to yourself and thinking about you, Pisces, um, thinking about yourself. This is the reading for October 19th to the 25th for Pisces. Please take what is meaningful for you. Remember to hit the notification and subscribe to my channel and come back Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can get a free mini reading. Thank you.